everyone, I'm Gabby and welcome back to Tailor Toned. You have made it to your 30 minute follow along barless bar workout. You won't be needing any equipment for today's class, but I would advise you've got a mat or something to protect your knees. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new workout so you don't miss out on that. Okay. Let's get straight into the burn and the shake. I'll be given modifications and advancements throughout. Let's do this. Bringing yourself up into a standing position, I want you to stack your feet directly underneath your hips. You're gonna take a little soften through the knees, draw the abdominals in, roll the shoulders down, and you're gonna press your palms towards me. Flex the palms forward. So you're gonna draw the knees up, let's go. Pull the elbows back, press. Press, so you're gonna switch on your upper body, switch on the lower body. Get nice and warm, ready for your workout with me. Press the palms forwards, pull the elbows back. Let's do it up. Let's energize the body, let's get that heart rate high. Ready for 30 minutes of bar. Go in, go in, you've got seven, six, you've got five. Let's do it, four, three, two, one. To the side of your mat, left leg, drop, up, drop, lift. So hands go together, pull up with the toe, lunge into the side. Again, we're getting the heart rate up. Feel free, modification, take this a little bit slower. I'm just trying to get that heart rate up. Ready to burn and shake with me. Lift, three, up, two, up, last one. Other side, let's do it. Go down, lift, down, lift. So get nice and deep into that leg. Bend the knee over the top of the toe. Sink those hips low. Let's warm up the legs. Lift, down, up. You've got it. Three, two, one. Well done. Step yourself so you've got enough room to roll out. Bring your chin towards your chest. Take a roll down. Drop the hands to the floor, walk out into a plank, walk the hands back in again. Take a bend through the knees, roll up through the spine. This one is great for mobilizing the spine, saying hello to that spinal column nice and early on in your class. As you find the plank, you're engaging through the anterior chain, all those muscles in the front of the body get nice and warm, working towards your core, one more. Walk the hands in. You've got it, bend through the knees. Chin to chest, roll down. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Now hold here for me. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Just a straight plank. If you need the modification, don't worry. Drop down to the knees, draw the toes in. Whatever option you have, you're gonna draw your belly button to the spine. See yourself in those skinny jeans. The zipper's hot, they've just been in the dryer. So pull your lower abs away from the zipper. Come out of the shoulders if you're sinking into that shoulder girdle. And I land between your fingertips. Embrace the shake. You've got 10, nine, eight, you've got it, seven, six of these, and five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Lower the knees down. You're gonna then bring it down and to both the forearms. Mirror me, you want to bring your right heel to your right glute. Now press the toe up to the ceiling. Take a little flex today. We're going to go squeeze in for two, flex and lift it up. Squeeze in for two, go flex and lift it up. So I'm taking the class today a little bit different. We're straight in towards your seat, your booty section, and your thigh section already. Gonna mix it up, so make sure you leave me a comment after the class. Let me know how you find it. Now make sure the working leg is in line with the same shoulder, with the same hip. Don't sink in towards the supporting leg hip. Imagine the side of the body is pushed up against a brick wall, a pane of glass. Don't sit into the hip, lift. You've got it, in and in. Now singles, lift, squeeze, lift. We can do this. We're gonna burn and shape together. Go squeeze, you've got five. Lift it, four, lift it, you've got three. Let's go, two, 
last one that you're gonna lift and hold. Keep the leg out there, hamstring curl, extend, extend, draw in, flex the foot. Every time you flex the foot in, squeeze the heel as tight as you can in towards your glute. Now so many people, they get this a little bit wrong because I want both your hip bones down to the floor like the lights of a car. Both those hip bones to the floor. They're straight, one is not dipping down, they are both straight to the floor. Woo, in and in, you've got to extend for two. Draw in for two, now singles out. In, let's do it, out and in. Commit to your bar burn with me today. We've got it, singles out and in, I know, out, in. You've got five, Woo, four, let's go, three, Two, last one, now keep the leg lengthened. Take a flex through the foot, a little pulse. Press, so double check, all your hips to the floor. Pull the belly button away from the floor. Make sure your head, your eye lines are between the fingertips, it burns. Squeeze, squeeze, you've got six. Five pulses, four, hold in three, stillness in two. One, now stay there. You're gonna rotate your left fingertips to your right elbow. So when you look down, you're creating the letter L. Then you're gonna bring the other hand out to the side. Now open through the hip, drive the leg up. Little pulse, pulse, inhale. Exhale, we can get through this together. Now zip up the waistline, you're back in those skinny jeans. Create as much distance from the ears to the shoulders as you possibly can. Draw the waistline in and think about pressing from your glute. Stabilizing in the upper body, building stabilizing strength in the shoulders, in the abs. Building muscular development, rounding your booty. By pulse and squeeze, you've got four. Three, hold in two, one, now stay there, I know. You're gonna keep this forearm down to the floor. You're gonna drop the toe and you're gonna roll into a side plank. I know you can. Reach this hand to the ceiling. Modification, underneath knee drops down. Create yourself a base of support. Staying there, so choose your option. Shoulders are stacked on top of one another. Hips are stacked, the arms reaching high. You are driving the underneath of your waist up and away from the floor to develop internal, external obliques. Work your waistline, get yourself an hourglass figure. Now lift the hips for 25 seconds. I know you can. Push into the forearm, plant the forearm down, drive the hips away. You've got this, inhale, exhale, 15 seconds. Pulling that hip to the ceiling, like your hips on a string. It's lifting, it's lifting. You've got just eight, seven on the side and six. In five, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Well done. Other side. So now bring the other forearm. <laughs> the forearm, both the forearms down to the floor. Bring your other heel to your glute, press the toes to the ceiling. Go in and in, flex it. Go lift and lift. So you're drawing in for two counts. Flex not for two counts. Go in and in, we say go lift and lift. Now as you squeeze the heel to the ceiling, remember the support inside of the body is pushed up against a wall. Remember your abs are drawn in. No arching through the back here. Go squeeze and squeeze. Every time you push the heel towards the ceiling, I want that heel squeezing into your glute. Imagine you have a ball behind the knee. Sometimes in bar classes, people like to do this with balls to really get that hamstring engagement. So the tighter you squeeze your heel to your glute, the more you're gonna activate through your hamstring, which is the back of the leg, the upper back of the leg. Go squeeze and squeeze, you got it, two more. And then we're gonna take it up a notch. Go in, go in, we lift it up and up. Now singles in, press, in, lift on the beat. Breathe and inhale, exhale, Woo! squeeze in, lift it up, two, one. Now hold it up there, extend away for two, squeeze it back in for two, extend for two, we squeeze it in and in, you've got to extend, extend, we squeeze it in and in. Now this will start to be the point where you'll maybe sit in towards your hip. You'll let one hip roll down to the floor. Keep the hips square. Extend, extend, you've got, now feel it through the booty. Feel that burn and shake. If you're burning, it's working. One more. We squeeze it in. Now last one, 
you're gonna hold out there at a flex. When you go, a little push, press, press. Now add resistance to your drive, something heavy, the heaviest thing you've ever lifted in your life. You're pushing it towards the ceiling with mighty micro movements. Squeeze, make it all about the booty. Stabilize, don't move the upper body. Six, five, you've got four, three, two, hold it there. Right fingertips rotate to left elbow, hands stacked to the side, open the hip now, and squeeze it up. Go lift, lift. We're in this together, remember, I am burning just as much as you. Quick note as well, I attended a bar class this morning, it was amazing, in Manchester at Block, and it was so good, so I've already done an hour's worth of bar, and we're doing it again, but we can do it. We're in it together, we're burning, we're shaking. Now lengthen the knee, open the hip, driving into the outside of your glute, into the outside of your seat, developing your gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, woo, piriformis. It's all working there. You have five, four, you've got three, two. Now hold it for me. Extend through the knee, lengthen the leg. Lift the leg a little bit higher. Keep the arms here on the floor. We're gonna roll side plank. Back foot taps down. Roll into a side plank. So your options are underneath knee down to the floor for a little bit of support. Or you can join me in that full advancement. I know you can. Again, shoulders are stacked on top of one another. Hips are stacked on top of one another. Heart is shining forwards. Working on your upper body. Working on your abductor muscles in the side of your body. Inhale, exhale, can we get those hips higher? Now pulse it, 20 seconds. Commit to your bar burn with me today. Squeeze that hip to the ceiling. Working on getting yourself an hourglass figure by working internal, external obliques. Your core should be on fire. You've got seven, six more pulses, five and four. We're done in three, Woo, two, one. Okay. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Mike's going everywhere today, sorry. Tuck the toes under and just walk the hands in. Roll yourself up. Turn inside onto me. You're gonna bring your left foot forwards, right foot back, drop down into a lunge. You're gonna bring your hands to a prayer and hold here. Knee over the top of the knee. You're gonna add a little tiny wrap in with the back leg. Wrap. Right, so if you've done bar, you'll know what this move is. If not, I'm gonna turn front onto the camera now so you can see what I'm doing, but stay here for me, so don't turn with me. The leg, it wraps in, in, it goes in. So you're, intern, you're working your internal thighs here, inner thighs, be precise, abductor muscles, in and in. Now that front knee needs to be over the top of your front ankle. Hands are in a prayer position. Now grow nice and tall. Crown of the head is elongating towards the ceiling. You've got a golden string from the crown of your head down to your trunk. And you're stretching that string as long as you possibly can. Lengthening through the spine. Engaging your core. Pulling your belly button to the spine. And rolling your shoulder blades into your back pockets here. Who's feeling it? You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. You're gonna lower the back knee a little bit further down. We're gonna go down and squeeze, down and squeeze. Now if you can't feel this, don't worry. First of all, check the four. Check you've got those two 90 degree angles or just get lower. Down and squeeze, it burns. Down and hold. Let's go, down and squeeze. Woo! Inhale, exhale. You've got three. You've got two. Now hold down here. Tip the tailbone under. Squeeze your glutes together. This back heel is gonna go super high into a really high heel position. Lower, oh my gosh, I wanna cry. Lower further down, further option. Advancement here, you don't have to take it. Front heel into a high stiletto. And give me just seven, six. You've got five, lower the heel in four. In three, don't drop out in two, in one. Now lower the front heel down. You're gonna twist, turn towards me. I know, hands go prayer, we go up. Woo! Let's feel that burn, that shake. We're in this together. We go for an up and down. Let's go four, 
just go three, keep the shoulders down and away. Pull the abdominals in, you have one. Now squeeze it low, reach the hands to the side, embrace your inner ballerina, second position with those arms. Scoop the hands around, make a nice curve, lower the hips down, option here, stay here, or kill the heel bar. Now full we'll sit down, down. Woo! If you're shaking, trembling, burning, anything in between it is working. Commit to the burn with me today. We're in it together. We've just got eight, seven, lower the heels in six, in five, lower the heels in four, in three, in two, in one. Now lower the heels down. Just sink low, isometric hold. The knees are firing over the middle toe. Sink the hips down to the floor. This is about lengthening tone in your thighs. Can you add a little much, a bit more depth into your plie? Push the hips down, embrace your inner ballerina by rolling the shoulders down. Grow the crown of the head up, but sink the hips lower. You've got five, four on the side of lunge, in two, in one. Now you're gonna invert the toe in, and roll round into a lunge, lower down. Now the back leg goes in, oh, in, 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 in. So you're really thinking about me having my hand here on the inside of your thigh and you're pushing me away. But as you push me away, you want to stabilize through the hips, you want to stabilize through the upper body so that it does not move, just wrap the leg in, in and squeeze, let's do it. Breathe in, breathe out, squeeze the back leg. In, you've got five, I'm burning four, and three, and two, one. Now hold here, maybe sink low, we're gonna take her down and squeeze. It's tiny, down and hold. Take it down and squeeze. As you drop that knee down towards the floor, can you squeeze your butt together? Can you invert the hips under? So now it's like you've got a piece of string in your pubic bone here, and someone's drawing it forwards and up. Down and squeeze and holding it there. Down and squeeze. Whew! The higher that back heel goes, the more it's gonna burn. Down hold. Like you're playing a game of musical statues and you find a freeze at the bottom. You've got three. Two, one, now hold it here, option front heel goes high, we pulse it out and pulse. So the weight is equal between the front and the back foot here. The thigh should be burning out your back leg, your front leg, down and down. You've got seven, six, let's go, five, four, low the heel in three, two, one. Now lower the front heel, I know you're burning, you're going to twist, turn, back to center. Lower the hips down. Inhale, I know. Exhale, sink it low. Now you're gonna drive your toes off the floor. So now, the more you dig the heels in, the more you're gonna get into your posterior chain. Your posterior chain is all those muscles down the back, into the glutes, into the back of the legs. So if you drive those toes off, you're gonna feel it deeper through the butt. Bring those hands into the front and sink the hips low. We take a little drop for two little lift up and up. I know, go down and down. Killer thighs up today. Just worked your booty. Now your thighs again, double trouble. Down we go, front up and up. Squeeze it, drop and drop. Squeeze it, lift and lift. You've got four more here. Lift, lift, three more. Down, sink it up and up. Two more, be really precise with that movement. Give it everything you've got. Last one, it's not the end now, I'm sorry. You're gonna reach now, your hands to the side. Imprint the toes back down to the floor, lower the hips low. The thighs are gonna wrap back, 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 back. So now I want you to imagine I have my hand on the back of your thighs and it is a forceful but tiny squeeze back and back. Now don't let the knee roll too far in. Drive, work those outside of the thighs. Let's trim down your legs, let's work your booty. Here we go, wrap and wrap. Squeeze, now can you sink those hips lower? If you don't hate me yet, get lower. Hate me now, love me later when we've all transformed our bodies. We'll have a brand new dancers like lonely and gorgeous body. You've just got seven, six, nearly done. Five, four, nearly done. Three, two, hold it. You're gonna shoot your hands above the head. Let's get that heart working even harder. So pull the blood around and lower the hips 
transfer down to the floor. Now don't drop out, I promise it's nearly done. Option, one heel high. Further option, other heel high. Modification, keep those heels on the floor. We're gonna pulse it out to finish. Oh my gosh, here you go, squeeze and squeeze. Now you get, might get to an uncontrollable shake and burn, embrace it, because that is when you are melting fat, you are building muscle. You wanna build more muscle than fat because muscle melts more calories at resting than fat does. You've just got five, four, three, one. I know you hate me. Give the legs a quick shake off, feet come underneath the hips. No breather. Reach the hands to the side, bring the palms forwards. Lift, itchy nose. We go down. <laughs> now I need to go. We go for a down lift. Palms are forward. Let's get ready to burn those arms out. Go down, lift up. You've got four more. You have three, extend the arms, draw the abs in, two. Now last one, you're gonna lift, stay there. Fingertips are in line with your shoulders, the abs are in, the shoulders are rolled backwards and down. Slide your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Now the arms, they're gonna circle back, hold, circle forwards, hold. Ooh, back and hold, I know, round and squeeze. Back and hold. Inhale in, exhale away. You've got this back and hold. Woo. Round and freeze. You've got four more here. Three more here. We can do it. Two more here. Now last one, you're gonna hold stillness. Now just breathe, inhale, exhale. Go for a quick body scan. So crown of the head is drawing up to the ceiling. You wanna roll the shoulders backwards and down. Pull the abs in. Remember that balletic intention. The balletic intention is to grow longer, stronger, leaner. So lengthen everything you've got. We'll keep a soft bend through the knees. Now you're gonna flex your palms to the side of the room. Little bend, push. Micro bend and a massive press away. So again, you're working with that heavy weight here. So I don't add weights to my workouts because I want them all to be accessible for everyone. Completely equipment free. I'm moving the bottom of my side because it's burning so much. We go, bend, press, bend, press, bend, squeeze. We're gonna burn together. You've got eight, seven, hold in six, and five, stillness in four, in three, in two. Now hold there, bring the palms forwards. We're gonna go. Woo! Feels good to bring them down. Feels tough. To get them back up again. Lift, we go down, lift, let's do it. Lift, five more, we're in it together. I am burning as well. Three, two, last one, now lift and freeze. You're gonna rotate here, palms backwards. So from the back, the palms are going, push, push, push. Keep going, press as heavy as you possibly can. Squeeze, squeeze, I know, squeeze, squeeze. Now get your little pinky up to the ceiling. Inhale in, exhale away, you're quick. Arm set, it's done. Standing in 10, in nine, in eight. Then we're going down to the floor into push-ups, sorry. Six and five, push it four. You've got three, two, one. Oh, I feel like my arms are about to fall off. You're gonna gently bring yourself down to the floor. Crouch position. Lower and walk on towards the hands. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Then you're gonna bring one straight line through the body. Crown the head down towards the knees. Feet are on the floor. Then you're gonna step your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. And I want you to take a push up. Inhale in. Exhale, you're gonna bring the arms, elbows into a V and then squeeze. Up and lift, I know. Bring it down, up and lift. Now use the breath. Inhale here, exhale, lower down. All the way back up and lift. Eye line though, it's down towards the floor. I want none of this where you've got the head right in. You wanna think about that length and position. So grow the crown of the head forwards and squeeze all the way up and lift. I know, it is a burner. After you've just done that ice match, you can't set, but we're in it together. Squeeze up and lift. Lower down for two. Exhale, push it, lift. So hard, taking it 
nice and slow. The slower you go, the harder it is because your muscles really have to precisely control that movement. That, that is why I'm doing it. If you can't feel it in the arms, make sure, double check your form. Elbows are going into a V behind yourself. Don't let them flare too much to the side. All the way down. Squeeze up and lift. You've got two more here. Down. Up and lift. Now, last one, you're gonna hold it for me. You want you to hold yourself down to the floor, bend the elbows behind yourself. Little tiny pulse it down. Bend the elbows, eye line down towards the floor. Don't strain in the neck. Pulse and pulse. You've got eight, seven more micro bends. You've got five, four child's pose in three, two, one. That was tough. Bring the hips backwards, reach the hands forwards, inhale the breath in, exhale the breath away. Roll up through the spine. Now you're gonna sweep the feet forwards. We're going in towards a round back modified. Bring both the forearms down on towards the floor. You're gonna then lift one leg into a tabletop, lift the other leg into a tabletop. So if you do bar, you will know this one. Now I want you to open the heart up, but tuck the tailbone under, C shape through the spine. Now lower your right leg to the floor and lift it back up. Inhale, exhale, lower the left leg. Squeeze up and lift. You've got this, lower the leg down. Now I want you to bring your eye line forwards on towards your toes. You've got a C shape through the spine, so the hips are tucked under. The more you can rotate your hip bones under, the more you're gonna work on your lower abdominals, the more you're gonna strengthen up your pelvic floor. So really think about your form right now for me. Eye lines forward, hips are tucked under, C shape with the spine. Press the forearms to the floor, plant them into the floor, open the heart up. We've got two more. Squeeze it in. Now, last one. You're going to lengthen and push your toe down. Now, add a little tiny push with the toes. This is great for getting into those lower abdominals, strengthening up your hip flexors. Now, don't strain in the neck. Eye line forward. Squeeze the heel to the floor. Tuck the tailbone under. Four, three. Bring it in. In two, one. Bring leg in. Other side. Squeeze it. Down, down. Now, push something heavy with the heel into the floor. It's like you're pressing down in a really, really coiled spring, but it's super tough to press the spring and press it. Push, push, you've got five, four, we've got this, three, two, one. Now bring the leg in. Keep the legs in this 90 degree angle. The hips, they're gonna rotate, tuck under hold tuck under hold. So it's like you're rocking your hips into your belly button. Imagine your pelvis, your trunk as a bowl of water. You're trying to tip the water out. Tuck under hold. Tuck under hold. So imagine you've got a bowl of water. Every time you tip it towards you, the water spills into your belly button. Tuck under hold. Woo! Tuck under hold. We've got it. In and hold. Now faster. Little tuck. Little tuck. Little tuck. Let's do it. Little tuck and tuck. You've got five, four. Holding in three, two. I know. One. Now stay there. Hold the tuck. Rotate your hips under. Press your lower back onto the floor. Extend the legs out as an option. Advancement. The lower the legs go, the harder this is. Press your lower back, cock six, sacrum into the floor. Now cross the legs. Switch, 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 switch. Lower those legs are, the harder it is. Press the palms to the floor, open the heart up and tuck those hip bones under. You should feel in those lower abs. Three, two, one. Ooh, lower yourself down towards the floor. Let the body drop down. Take a couple of seconds to get the breath back. I want you to imprint the soles of the feet on towards your mat. Let the hands just come down by your side. Inhale in. Exhale away. Let the breath return to its normal breathing pattern. Let's bring the heart rate slowly and safely down. And then you're gonna slowly just knock your knees from side to side. So windscreen wipe of the knees left to right left to right. Draw the knees in towards the chest. You're going to wrap your hands on top of your shins and then curl into a ball here. 
Draw the chin to the chest, find length behind the back of the neck into the cervical spine, into the thoracic spine where the ribs are, and curl the eye line in. Wrap the hands around. Take the opposite flexion, safely lower the head down towards the floor, don't strain in the neck, and then reach your toes away from yourself, flex the palms, and pull the body as long as you possibly can, like I'm pulling your toes and your legs out of your hips, and I'm pulling your hands above the head. Draw the knees to the chest, rock back, rock forwards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna lengthen your left leg for me out to the side. Now bring this other leg, the right leg in. Sit nice and tall off the hips. Sometimes this doesn't feel great on my knee, so you can always just wrap the leg so it goes like that. Hamstring stretch, reach the hands to the ceiling. Inhale, the breath in. Exhale, folding forwards. And you should find the stretch down the back of the leg into the glutes and just hold that. Now really try to get your nose to touch on towards your shin. Lengthen the crown of the head away from the body. Draw the spinal column nice and long, lengthen through the vertebrae. Lift yourself all the way up. And then from here, this right leg stays just where it is and this left leg is gonna come in. Find a frog. Press these soles of the feet together, hip flexor stretch, abductor, adductor stretch. Bring the hands on towards the ankles and then drive the knees away. Try and sit nice and tall off your sit bones, lengthen through the body and really think about using those elbows to push the knees down towards the floor. You should feel it into those inner thighs. Other side. You're gonna now lengthen your right leg out. Bring this left leg in. Reach nice and tall into the ceiling. Take a big breath here. Inhale. Exhalation. Drawing your nose down towards the shin. Fold yourself over. One side will be more flexible than the other. And then from here, bring your feet behind yourself. Take an all fours position on the floor. Cat and cat. Inhale, scoop the back up towards the ceiling. Bring the eye line in towards your belly button. Get a nice deep stretch. Come right out of the shoulder girdle. Find yourself a nice deep stretch through the shoulders. And then inhale here. Exhale now, allow the belly button to drop down towards the floor. Lift the eye line up. Sink the chest down. And then one more of those. Inhale, scoop the abs all the way up and out. And then exhale, push the chest down, lift the eye line all the way up. Back to a neutral position. I want you to tuck the toes under, press the heels to the floor, take a downward dog, drive the heels down. If you wanna have a little play around here, feel free to pedal the heels to the floor or inhale and exhale, drive them both down at the same time. The intention here is to really lengthen through the front of the body in towards the back of the legs, the calves, the hamstrings, the glutes, all those muscles in the back of the legs. And then walk the hands in towards your feet, fold the body in half, lose any tension that you're holding in your neck, in your shoulders, and just let the body fall heavy towards the floor. Maybe take a second to close the eyes here. Take a soften through the knees, drop the coccyx, the sit bones towards the floor and slowly roll all the way up so you're getting some spinal mobility. Roll through the spine, bring the head up last and then step yourself in the center of your mat, of your towel, wherever you are. Bring the hands to a prayer position, roll the shoulders backwards and down, now lengthen through the body, find a balance to finish. Inhale, exhale, float the heels nice and high up and away from the floor. Drop the heels down towards the floor. I want you to close your eyes for me now. Pull the belly button towards the spine. Roll the shoulder blades down and away. Find a breath. Inhale, positivity. Exhale, negativity. And well done in your class with me today. I hope you loved that one. Give yourself a quick shake off. Ready to send yourself back into everyday life after that workout. Make sure you leave me any comments and feedback down below in the comments section. Let me know how you found that one. Did you like the booty section being right at the beginning? I felt like it flew by. Anyway, drop me a comment. I will see you again next time for another workout. Hit subscribe. Bye.